Hey everyone, it's Joe with uh, Tripping Burkinis. Uh, today I'm going to uh, give a quick tutorial and review of UserTesting.com. Um, so as you see on the screen, uh, I'm already logged in. Obviously, you'd want to sign up for an account and then log in uh, to see what I'm seeing. But uh, from the very first screen, once you're logged into UserTesting.com, the first page that you go to is Available Tests, and that will show you the tests that you have. Uh, you can set up notifications to receive either by email or it'll just kind of ding on your computer. Um, and from here, you would click on Take Screener, and we'll go ahead and walk through that process for one of these. And this is Mac or Windows computer. On which of the following devices have you shopped OldNavy.com for repair in the past six months? I've never shopped OldNavy.com, so I'm going to click none of the above. I could lie and maybe get a test, but that's not. It's against my integrity. Unfortunately, you didn't qualify for this test. So the downside of user testing is you'll, you'll get quite a few tests and you'll have to take the screeners, but you won't qualify for many of them. At least that has been my experience. That's been the big downside. Uh, the upside is I have completed, as you see here on completed tests, I've completed a total of four tests. Each one has paid me $10. Total time to complete all of these tests. Um, this last one that I did, I just, I just took tonight. Now, all four of these were done on my phone, but I took this one tonight. It took me five minutes to make this $10. Now, this one's pending. Um, this will pay out after seven days, exactly seven days uh, from the time you see that go pending, which is a couple of minutes after you complete a test, you will get paid to PayPal. Um, I can confirm that because these bottom three were paid out. Uh, looks like user testing went ahead and did uh, rate me on my very first one. Obviously, I need a little bit of practice. Some four stars versus five stars. We all know I'm a five star kind of guy, but I was kind of new to it. Okay, so there's forty dollars. Um, five minutes on that one. I think this one took me about eleven minutes. Uh, this one I got one night. Julie and I are laying in bed. Uh, getting ready to fall asleep and I opened my app and I saw that there was a test available. I took the screener, got it, went into the other room and completed it. And that one took me about eight minutes. Uh, and this one took me, I think about 15. So all told, we're in about, you know, 40, 45 minutes. Um, total time I've spent either on the website or in the application where I haven't gotten any tests is maybe 30, 45 minutes. So this $40 that I made was made in a total of maybe an hour and a half. Uh, now, I did sign up for user testing about a month and a half ago. Uh, so back in early November, maybe late October. Um, so it's not consistent money, but it's, it's easy. When you get the tests, they're quick, they're short, and it's a nice quick $10 payment. Uh, of course, then you've got my profile, which I'm not going to click on because that's my profile. Your message center. Uh, this is where you would get messages from either user testing support or um, any when you're if you complete a test and the the, uh, the website owner, uh, you know, the person that is paying you to review their website and comment on it. Uh, they would have some messages there as well. And then here, of course, is your help center for any kind of support issues that you might have. Uh, lessons on how to be a, a five-star tester, so that's really cool. Uh, handling problems while testing, you know, what to, what, this will tell you what you need to do if you're having any kind of, uh, you know, technical issues or anything like that. And then, of course, the tester support center. Of course, across the top here, you will see payment pending, $10, and my recent average rating Four out of five stars. I'll get that up to five stars, not a problem. Uh, I, but that's really it, short and sweet. Um, like I said, I mean, based on the fact that the what I got paid for the amount of time that I actually did put into it, you know, forty dollars for less than an hour of work, that's five stars right there. Uh, the fact that it took me 
seven weeks uh, to do that. And that's, you know, checking it, you know, I'm not, I'm not going into this website every day. So I'd have probably made a little bit more if I was more consistently checking on it. But the amount of available tests and the time that you do uh, not qualify for tests, uh, I'd rate that a three stars. So average those out, I gave it four stars. It does pay. Um, it does pay fairly well, but it doesn't pay fairly often. So I'm going to go ahead and take this screener. We'll see what that looks like. And basically, this is what you see. So I'll ask you just a very simple question. What domain do you work with? Financial, health care, retail. Um, really, I would say I don't really work in any of those currently. So I'm going to say other and hit continue. Unfortunately, you didn't qualify for this test. And that, that happens quite a bit. That happens more often than not. And it's pretty exciting when you do get a test because you know you're going to spend five to 20 minutes and make $10. But basically, that's it. That's my review and tutorial of usertesting.com. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and comment below. Uh, we definitely love to hear from you. If there's anything you'd like me to test out um, or give a tutorial for, uh, give us a shout and we will. I'll do my best to make that happen. Anyway, this has been Joe with the Trip and Brahinis and we'll be seeing you on the road.